Now we'll come to angle between two planes. So suppose we are given two planes. Say P1, which is given by A1x plus B1y plus C1z plus D1 equals 0. And another plane, say P2, which is A2x plus B2y plus C2z plus D2 equals 0. Then we need to find angle between these two planes. Now, if we look at normals to these planes, now this is N1. And this is N2. Then we know this angle is 90. This angle is 90. And here this angle, it is theta. So this angle will be simply pi minus theta. Now we find angle between N1 and N2. There will be cos pi minus theta minus cos theta. And if we take its absolute value, we will get this cos theta. So in order to write angle between two planes, we need direction ratios of their normals a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2 and c2 then angle between two planes it is given by cos theta and this is mod of a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 upon under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square and under root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square and these two planes they will be parallel. If their normals are parallel, in that case, we will have a1 upon a2 equals b1 upon b2 equals c1 upon c2. And these two planes, they will be perpendicular if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 it is equal to 0. So this is how we find angle between two planes. And if the equation is given in vector form, then we'll have r dot n1 equals d1 and r dot n2 equals d2. Now here normal is n1 and for the second one it is n2. Then we can simply write cos theta as mod of n1 dot n2 upon mod n1 mod n2. So this is how we can find angle between the two planes if vector equations are given. Now the question is, let the vectors A, B, C, D be such that A cross B cross C cross D is 0 and let P1 and P2 be planes determined by pair of vectors A, B and C, D respectively. So we have this plane P1 which is determined by A and B. Now in this case, normal of this first plane N1 will be simply parallel to A cross B and in the same way for the second plane which is characterized by these two vectors C and D, it's normal, it will be given by C cross D. Then the question we are given that N1 cross N2 is 0. That means vectors N1 and N2, they are collinear. And if they are collinear, it simply means that these two planes, P1 and P2, they are parallel. If the planes are parallel, angle between them is simply 0, which is your option A. Now the question is, the direction ratios of normal to the plane through 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and which makes an angle of pi by 4 with the plane x plus y equals 3. Now, rather than taking direction ratios in this case, what we'll do is, we'll consider direction cosines of normal. Now, let these direction cosines be L, M, and N. Now we have two points on this plane, they are 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0 and we have normal as L, M and N. Now direction ratios of these two lines, they are 1, minus 1, 0 and since normal is perpendicular to this vector, we will get L minus M equals 0, that is value of L, it must be equal to M. Now we are also given that angle between these two planes, it is pi by 4. So we can write cos theta, which is cos pi by 4, 1 by root 2, and it will be equal to L1, L2, M1, M2, and N1, N2. Now for this first plane, direction cosines are L, M, and N, and for this plane, direction cosines are 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, and 0. So from here, we'll get L plus M 
upon root 2. Now this root 2 and root 2 will cancel. And since L is equal to M, we can write mod of L equals 1 by 2. So value of L, it must be equal to value of M and will be equal to 1 by 2. And we know that L square plus M square plus N square is 1. Now L square is 1 by 4, M square is 1 by 4, so it will be 1 by 2. So value of N will be plus or minus 1 by root 2. So direction issues of this normal, they can be 1 by 2, 1 by 2, plus minus 1 by root 2 or minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and then plus minus 1 by root 2. Now we multiply it with 2, we can also write these direction ratios as 1, 1 and plus minus root 2 or minus 1, minus 1 and plus minus root 2. Now the only option given in this question is this option B. Now here the question is the locus represented by x, y plus y, z equals to 0 represents a pair of perpendicular planes. Now we can write this as y and then x plus z equals 0. Now these are y equals to 0 and x plus z equals to 0. Now this is x, z plane and direction ratio of its normal are 0, 1 and 0 and for this direction ratios are 1, 0 and 1. Now if we take that dot product, we will get cos theta equals 0. That means theta is equal to pi by 2. So basically this statement 1, it is correct. Now the next one is if these two planes are perpendicular, then a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 is 1. It's incorrect. So the two planes are perpendicular, then a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 upon under root of a1 square, b1 square, c1 square, a2 square, b2 square, c2 square is equal to cos 90 and cos 90 is 0. So it should be 0 and not 1. So this statement 2, it is incorrect. So the correct answer is statement 1 is true and statement 2 is false. Now here we are given two statements and the statement 2 is pair of planes given by ax square plus by square plus cz square plus 2fyz plus 2gxz plus 2hxy is equal to 0 are perpendicular if a plus b plus c is 0. Now if we take two perpendicular planes say a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals to 0. If they are perpendicular, we know that a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2, it must be 0. Now we multiply them, we will get a1, a2 x square plus b1, b2 y square and c1, c2 is z square and all other terms. Now this is a, this is b and this is c. So clearly we will get this condition that a plus b plus c, it must be 0. So that means the statement 2, it is correct. Now what about the statement 1? Now if we look at the statement 1, then here 2 minus 6 plus 4, it is 0. But then it doesn't mean it represents equation of perpendicular planes. So for this we have to find whether this equation will represent equation of two planes or not. And for this we will find this delta and this delta is a, B, C and then H, G and F, it must be equal to 0 and also F square must be greater than B, C, G square must be greater than A, C and H square, it must be greater than A, B for real planes. Now if we find this delta, this delta will be now a is 2, b is minus 6 and c is 4. Now h x y, value of h in this case is 1 by 2, so it will be 1 by 2, 1 by 2, g is 9, so it will be this 9 and 9 and then x z is simply 1. Now we can also write this as 4 1 18. 1, minus 12, 2 and here it will be 9, 1 and 4. Now this, we will divide everything with 2. So we get this as 9, 1 and 2. 
Now if we expand it, we'll get 4 and this is minus 24 minus 1, minus 25 and then minus 1 will be 2 minus 9. So it will be minus 7 and then plus 9 into, now this is 1 plus 8, it will be 109 and it is unequal to 0. So this equation, it doesn't represent pair of planes. So that means the statement 1, it is incorrect. So the correct answer is statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. Now we'll find perpendicular distance of point from a plane. We'll also find foot of perpendicular. And we'll find image of a point in the plane. So we'll be given a plane whose equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0. And we are given this point P whose coordinate is say x1, y1 and z1. Now if we draw a perpendicular from this point on this plane, then this point Q, it is foot of perpendicular. And reflection of P in the plane is called as image of this point. So this is your point P dash and this distance PQ it is perpendicular distance of this point from plane. Now we need to find this perpendicular distance D coordinates of Q and coordinates of P. Now what we'll do is we'll write equation of this line PQ. Now in order to write equation of a line we need a point. So we already have this point and we need direction ratios. Now since this PQ it is perpendicular to the plane it is parallel to its normal and direction ratios of normal are a, b and c. So for this line we have a point and direction ratios. We can write this line as x minus x1 upon a equals y minus y1 upon b equals z minus z1 upon c. Now we will take this point q on this line and we know that any point on this line we can take it in terms of parameters say lambda. So we write Corner of this point Q is x1 plus a lambda, y1 plus b lambda and z1 plus c lambda. Now this point Q, it will lie on this line as well as it will lie on this plane. So we will put the value of x, y and z in this equation. So we can write a x1 plus a lambda plus b y1 plus b lambda and plus c z1 plus c lambda and plus t equals 0. So from here we can write this lambda as minus a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d upon a square plus b square plus c square. So now we have value of lambda. So once we have value of lambda we can find coordinate of this point q and which gives us our shortcut to write foot of perpendicular. So if we are given this point x1, y1, z1, then we can write this equation as x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1 upon, now we'll use direction ratios from this equation of the plane and they'll be a, b and c and for this point q, we need to put in the value of lambda and value of lambda is this minus and then this is nothing but the value when you put this point in the plane, so it'll be this a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d upon a square plus b square plus c square. So this is the shortcut for foot of perpendicular and we get this shortcut from intersection of this line p q with the plane. Now this image p dash will be at a distance 2d from p. So we can write shortcut for image of the point also. And image of the point is x minus x1 upon a equals y minus y1 upon b equals z minus z1 upon c. And here we will take it 2 times lambda. So it will be minus 2 and then ax1 
प्लस बी वाई वन प्लस सी जेड वन प्लस डी अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर सो वी हैव शॉर्टकट्स फॉर फुट ऑफ पर पेंडिकुलर फ्रॉम पॉइंट ऑन द प्लेन एंड इमेज ऑफ द पॉइंट इन द प्लेन Now we'll also need to find this perpendicular distance d. Now coordinate of QR x1 plus a lambda, y1 plus b lambda, and z1 plus c lambda, and coordinates of PR x1, y1, z1. So this PQ will be a lambda, b lambda, and c lambda. So distance between P and Q, which is perpendicular distance of this point from this plane, will be given by under root of a lambda square plus b lambda square plus c lambda square which is nothing but under root of a square plus b square plus c square into mod of lambda and mod of lambda is mod of a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d upon a square plus b square plus c square so perpendicular distance of this point from this plane it is given by a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 plus d upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square so if we have a point which is x1 y1 z1 and this plane which is a x plus b y Plus c z plus d equals to zero. Then perpendicular distance of this point from this plane it is given by say l and l b. We'll put the point in this equation. So it'll be a x one plus b y one plus c z one plus d upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square. So this is how we find perpendicular distance of a point. From a plane, and if we have say two parallel planes whose equations are a x plus b y plus c z plus d equals zero, and a x plus b y plus c z plus d dash equals zero, then distance between them L it is given by d minus d dash upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square and their direction ratios they must be same before we use this formula now we can write this perpendicular distance if we are given equation of plane in vector form also so in vector form suppose we are given this equation as r dot n equals d so this is r dot n Minus d equals zero, and we are given a point P, which is say this point A. Then this perpendicular distance L will be given by r dot A minus d upon mod n. And if we are given two parallel planes, say r dot n equals d, and r dot n equals d dash, then this perpendicular distance it is given by. d minus d dash upon mod n so we can write this perpendicular distance in vector form also now the question is a plane passing through this point is perpendicular to two given planes then distance of this plane from this given point 1 2 2 is now we can write equation of this plane because we have this point so we can write x minus 1 y plus 2 z minus 1 and then since this plane is perpendicular to two given planes So direction ratios of their normal, they are parallel vectors. So it will be two minus two one, and here it will be one minus one two, and it should be zero. Now this is minus four plus one, so it will be minus three x minus one. Now this is four minus one, so there will be minus three y plus two, and then this is minus two plus two, so it will be simply zero. So equation of this plane will be x plus y. Plus one equals zero. So that is this equation of plane. Now we need to find perpendicular distance of this plane from the point one, two, and two. And this perpendicular distance will be one plus two plus one upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square, which is simply 
2. So it will be 4 upon root 2 and which is nothing but 2 root 2 and that's your option D. Now the question is the distance of this point from plane passing through this point. Now this question I think they forgot to mention the two given lines. Now L1 is given as x plus 1 upon 3 equals y plus 2 upon 1 and it is equal to z plus 1 upon 2 and L2 is given as x minus 2 upon 1 y plus 2 upon 2 and z minus 3 upon 3. So now we have this complete question. So we are given two lines L1 and L2. Now the first question is it says distance of the point 1 1 1 from the plane passing through the point minus 1 minus 2 1 such that whose normal is perpendicular to both lines L1 and L2. Now if normal is perpendicular to both that means this plane is parallel to both these lines. So we have this parallel vectors and we also have this point and we also have this point. So we can write equation of this plane as x plus 1, y plus 2, z plus 1 and here parallel vectors are 3, 1 and 2 and this is 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3 and it will be equal to 0. Now this is 3 minus 1 so it will be minus x minus 1. Now this is 9 minus 2 so there will be minus 7 so there will be minus 7y minus 7y minus 14 and this is 6 minus 1 5 so plus 5z plus 5 equals 0. So we can write equation of this plane as x plus 7y minus 5z plus 10 equals 0. Now we need to find perpendicular distance of this point from this plane. Now this perpendicular distance will be 1 plus 7 minus 5 plus 10 whole divided by under root of. Now this is 1 plus 49 plus 25. Now this is 18 minus 5, 13. And this is under root 75, which is your option C. Now the questions, the length of an edge of a cube A, B, C, D, A1, B1, C1, D1 is equal to unity. So we have this cube which is of one unit length and say this is A, B, C, D and let it be A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. Now say it is X, Y and Z. Now this point A, it is at origin. Now this B is a 1, 0, 0. Now this D is 0, 1, 0 and this A dash is 0, 0, 1. Now this C is 1, 1, 0. This B dash is 1 0 1 and this d dash is 0 1 and 1 and this point c dash is 1 1 and 1. Now it says a point E is taken on A A1 and such that vector A is 1 by 3. So position vector of this point E will be simply 0 0 1 by 3 and point F is taken on edge BC such that BF is 1 by 4. Now this F will lie along BC. So coordinate of F will be 1, 1 by 4 and 0 and says O1 is center of the cube. Now center of this cube is midpoint of A and C dash. So this O1 will be 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So now we have O1, E and F. Now it says find the shortest distance of this vertex B1 from the plane of triangle O1, E, F. Now we'll write equation of this plane. Now equation of this plane is given by x minus 0, 
y minus 0, z minus 1 by 3, and then this minus this. So it will be 1 by 2, 1 by 2, and 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3, it will be simply 1 by 6, and here it will be this value which is 1, 1 by 4, and minus 1 by 3, and it will be equal to 0. Now we'll multiply this first column with 2, second column with 4, and third column with 6. So we'll write this as 2x1, 2. Here will be 4y, 2 and 1. And here will be 6z minus 2, 1 and minus 2. And it should be equal to 0. Now we expand this determinant, we'll get this as minus 4 minus 1. So it'll be minus 10x now this is minus 4y and minus 4 so it'll be plus 16y and then plus 6z minus 2 and here will be this minus 3 equals 0 now we divide everything with minus 2 here will be 5 here will be this minus 8 and here will be minus 3z plus 1 so this equation will be 5x minus 8y plus 9z minus 3 equals 0. So that is the equation of plane O1 EF. Now we need to find shortest distance of B1 from this triangle O1 EF. Now this B1 is 101. So this perpendicular distance of this plane from the point 101 will be 5 plus 9 minus 3 upon under root of 25 plus 64 plus 81. Now this is 11 plus 64 plus 81 and it will be simply 170. So shortest distance of this vertex B1 from this plane it is given by 11 upon under root 170 and that is the answer to this question. Now here the question is find the equation of plane passing through these three points. So we we'll need one point, so we can choose any one point. So let us take this first point. So it will be x minus 2, y minus 1, z minus 0. And then we we'll need two parallel vectors. Now this is 5, five minus 2, 3, 0 minus 1, minus 1, and then 1. And then 4 minus 2 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0. And then it will be this 1 and it should be 0. Now we solve this, we will get minus x minus 2 and then it will be 3 minus 2. 1 so it'll be minus y minus 1 and then plus 2z equals 0 so this equation will be x plus y minus 2z minus 3 equals 0 so this is the equation of plane that we are looking for now the next part says if p is the point 2 1 and 6 so we have this point 2 1 and 6 And we need to find Q such that PQ is perpendicular to the plane and midpoint of PQ lies on it. So we have PQ perpendicular to the plane and midpoint of PQ lies on the plane. So basically this Q is image of P. And for image we have this direct formula. So we can write X minus 2, Y minus 1, Z minus 6 upon now direction issues of normal there. 1 1 and minus 2 and it will be minus 2 and if here we put this point we will get 2 plus 1 3 3 minus 3 0 and 6 into 2 is minus 12 so there will be minus 12 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 4 6 so it will be simply 2 so this value is 4 so this x will be 6 y is 5 and z is minus 2 so coordinate of this point q will be 6, 5 and minus 2 and that is the answer to this question. Now it says two system of rectangular axes have same origin and if plane cuts them at a distance of a, b, c and a1, b1, c1 from origin then which of the following option is correct. Now we have this first system in which intercepts are a, b and c so we can write equation of this plane as x upon a plus y upon b plus z upon c it is equal to 1. Now this is x, y and z system. Now we have another system in which we have x as 
x1 y1 and z1 now here we have intercepts as a1 b1 and c1 now in this case this equation will be x upon a1 plus y upon b1 plus z upon c1 and it is equal to 1 now in the question it says the two system of rectangle axis have same origin so basically these two systems they have same origin but different orientation now since origin is same and plane is same so perpendicular distance of this plane from origin will be same in both the cases so if we find perpendicular distance in this first case from origin it will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 1 upon under root of 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square plus 1 upon c square and in the second case this perpendicular distance will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus 1 upon under root of 1 upon a1 square plus 1 upon b1 square plus 1 upon c1 square now since both these distances they are same if we equate them we'll get 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square plus 1 upon c square it must be equal to 1 upon a1 square plus 1 upon b1 square plus 1 upon c1 square and that's your option a now the question is if q is image of point p in the plane so we have this plane which is 3x minus y plus 4z equals to and q is image of this point p so we have this point p which is not given then we have this point q which is 0 minus 1 and minus 3 and r is this point which is 3 minus 1 and minus 2 we need to find area of this triangle pqr now if we look at this r if we put it in this equation we'll get this as 9 plus 1 minus 8 and this 2 that means this point r it will lie in this plane so this r it lies in this plane now we can find this perpendicular distance of this q from the given plane so this perpendicular distance d it will be 0 plus 1 minus 12 minus 2 and here it will be 9 plus 16 plus 1 and that will be under root 26 which is 13 by under root 26 which we can also write as under root 13 by 2 so this distance it is under root 13 by under root 2 now we can also find this distance qr now this distance qr we can find it using distance formula now this is 3 square 9 1 minus 1 is 0 and then plus 1 and this distance is under root 10 so we can find length of this perpendicular p so this p will be given by this under root of hypotenuse square 10 minus 13 by 2 which is root 7 by root 2 now once we have p and d we can write area of this triangle pqr so area of this triangle pqr will be 1 by 2 into 2d into p now this 2 and 2 will cancel now value of d is root 13 by root 2 and value of p is under root 7 by root 2 so this value will be 1 by 2 into under root of 91 and that's your option a now here the question is if the distance of this point from the plane where alpha is greater than 0 is 5 then foot of perpendicular from p to the plane is now distance of this point from the plane will be given by 1 minus 4 minus 2 minus alpha upon 3 and it is 5 so from here we can write mod of alpha plus 5 it is 15 or value of alpha is 10 since it is given that alpha is greater than 0 so we can write equation of this plane as x plus 2y minus 2z minus 10 equals 0 now we need to find foot of perpendicular from this point to this plane now it is given by x minus 1 
y plus 2 z minus 1 upon 1 2 and minus 2 and here will be this minus and we'll put the value of this point so it'll be 1 minus 4 minus 2 minus 10 upon 1 plus 4 plus 4 which is 9 now this is 16 minus 1 15 minus 15 by 9 which is simply 5 by 3 so coordinate of x will be 5 by 3 plus 1 which is 8 by 3 and then it will be 10 by 3 minus 2 4 by 3 and then minus 10 by 3 plus 1 and it is minus 7 by 3 and that's your option A. Now it says if the distance between this plane and plane containing these lines is root 6 then find the value of mod D. Now basically these two planes they have to be parallel otherwise shortest distance between them will be 0. Now what we'll do is we'll find equation of plane containing these two lines will be given by x minus 1 y minus 2 z minus 3 and then we have two parallel vectors 2 3 and 4 and 3 4 and 5 and it will be equal to 0 now this is 15 minus 16 so that will be minus 1 so it will be minus x plus 1 now this is 10 minus 12 minus 2 plus 2 so it will be plus 2y minus 4 and then it will be 8 minus 9 so which is minus z plus 3 equals 0 so we can write this equation as x minus 2y plus z and it will be equal to 0. Now since we need to find perpendicular distance between these two planes then clearly value of a it must be 1 then this equation will be x minus 2y plus z minus d equals 0. Now this perpendicular distance say l will be given by d upon under root of 1 plus 4 plus 1 and it is equal to under root 6. So value of mod d is simply 6 and that is the answer to this question. Now the question is let alpha, beta, gamma, delta be real numbers such that alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square is unequal to 0. That means each of alpha, beta and gamma they are non-zero and alpha plus gamma is 1. Now it says suppose the point 3, 2 and minus 1 is the mirror image of the point 1, 0, minus 1 with respect to this plane alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z equals delta then which of the following statement is or are true. So we have this plane and this is alpha x plus beta y plus gamma z and is delta and we are given two points which are mirror image of each other. Now this is 3, 2, minus 1 and this is 1, 0 and minus 1. And we are also given that value of alpha plus gamma is 1. Now if we write direction ratios of this normal, we can write it using these two points. So it will be 2, 2 and 0. And here if we use direction ratios of normal, we can write this as alpha, beta and gamma. So we compare, we can write alpha upon 2 equals beta upon 2 equals gamma upon 0. That means value of gamma is 0. And if gamma is 0, we will get value of alpha is 1. Now if we put alpha is 1, we will get beta is 1 also. So we will write this equation as x plus y equals delta. Now midpoint of these two points, they lie on this plane. Now we find this midpoint, this midpoint will be 2, 1 and minus 1. And if we put it here, we will write 2 plus 1 equals delta, value of delta is 3. So now we have values of alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Now alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta is 2, option A is correct. Delta minus gamma is 3, option B is correct. Delta plus beta is 4, option C is correct and alpha plus beta plus gamma is 2 which is unequal to 3 so option d is incorrect so the correct options are a b and c now if we have two planes say this plane 1 which is given by a1 x plus b1 y 
plus c1 z plus d1 equals 0 and then the second plane which is t2 that is a2 x plus d2 y plus c2 z plus d2 equals 0 then we need to find this third plane which bisects angle between p1 and p2 and this we call as angle bisector plane. So this plane will bisect the angle between p1 and p2 and there will be two such planes one which is acute angle bisector and this other one which will be this obtuse angle bisector. So there will be two angle bisector planes. Now property of angle bisector is distance of any point on angle bisector will be at the same distance from two planes. So all we need to do is if we are given these two planes as a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals to 0 then we know that locus of point on angle bisector plane will be a point which is at a same distance from two planes. Now distance of any point from this first plane will be given by a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 upon under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square and it will be equal to plus minus perpendicular distance from this second plane which is a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 upon under root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. So this is the equation of angle bisector planes. Now at times in the equation they will specifically ask you to find which one of the two is acute angle bisector and which one is obtuse angle bisector. Now one way to find out is we can take any one plane which we get from these two equations say we get a plane which is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0 and we need to identify whether this plane is acute angle bisector or obtuse angle bisector. So we'll find angle between this plane and any one of the given plane. So if we find this angle we can write cos theta as a a1 plus b b1 plus c c1 upon under root of a square plus b square plus c square into under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square. Now we look at value of cos theta. Now if cos theta is greater than 1 by root 2 it means this angle it lies between 0 and 45. So in that case this angle bisector will be acute angle bisector and if the value of cos theta it is less than 1 by root 2 then in that case this half angle it will lie between 45 and 90 in that case this angle bisector will be obtuse angle bisector. Now say for example we need to find equation of plane bisecting the acute angle between these two planes. Now we are given two planes and they are x minus 2y minus 2z plus 3 equals 0 and 3x minus 6y minus 2z plus 2 equals 0. Now we find perpendicular distance of the point from this plane it will be x minus 2y plus 2z plus 3 and divide by under root of a square plus b square plus c square which in this case is 3 and it will be equal to plus minus and then the second equation which is 3x minus 6y minus 2z plus 2 upon now this is 9 plus 36 45 plus 4 49 and it will be simply 7. Now we can write this as 7x minus 14y plus 14z plus 21 and it will be equal to plus minus 9x minus 18y minus 6z and plus 6. Now if we take plus sign we will get this as 2x minus 4y minus 20z and then minus 15 equals 0 and if we take 
minus sign, we can write this as 9 plus 7, 16, so it will be 16x, and then minus 32y plus 8z plus 27 equals 0. So now we have equations of two angle bisectors. Now here we need to find which one of the two is an acute angle bisector. And for this what we will do is we will take any one plane say this one. Now here direction ratios are 1 minus 2 and 2 and suppose this one and here direction ratios are 2 minus 4 and minus 20 which we can write as 1 minus 2 and minus 10. Now we will find angle between these two planes. Now here cos theta will be 1 plus 4 minus 20 upon 3 and here it will be 100 plus 4 so it will be 105 which is 16 upon 3 into 105 which is nearly 0.52 and which is less than 1 by root 2. Now it is less than 1 by root 2 it means that this angle it lies between 45 and 90 so basically this is your obtuse angle bisector and the other one will be your acute angle bisector. So acute angle bisector will be this 2 into 8x minus 16y plus 4z plus 27 equals 0 and which is your option A. Now there is another method to solve these questions and which is suppose we are given two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equals 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 equals 0. Now we have to write these equations in such a way that d1 into d2 is greater than 0. That means they should be of the same sign either both positive or both negative. Now we can find angle bisector containing origin by taking plus sign between them. So we write a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d upon under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square and it will be equal to this plus a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 upon under root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square and angle bisector not containing origin will be given by minus sign. So we we'll write this as a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 upon under root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square and it will be equal to this minus and then a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 upon under root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Now if we make both the constants of same sign then if we need angle bisector containing origin we will have to take plus sign and if we need angle bisector not containing origin then we will take minus sign. Now in order to identify acute angle bisector and obtuse angle bisector we need to identify whether origin lies in acute angle or obtuse angle and for this what we will do is we will find the value of a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 and if this is less than 0 then origin lies in acute angle and if a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is greater than 0 then origin lies in obtuse angle. Now if origin lies in acute angle then if we need to find acute angle bisector we will take plus sign and for obtuse we will take minus sign and if it is greater than 0 origin lies in obtuse. So for obtuse we will take plus sign and for acute we will take minus sign. Now we will come back to this question. Now here d1 is positive and d2 is also positive. Now we will find a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2. Now a1 a2 is 3, b1 b2 is 12 and c1 c2 is 4. Now this is greater than 0 
and if it is greater than zero, it means origin lies in obtuse angle. And if origin lies in obtuse angle, and we have to find acute angle bisector, that means we have to find the bisector not containing origin. And for that, we have to choose this minus sign. So here, we'll just need to take this minus sign. And if we choose this minus sign, we'll get this angle bisector as 228x minus 16y plus 4z plus 27, which is your option A. So this way is a little easier than the first one. Now here we're given two equations. Plane one, which is 2x minus y plus z minus 2 equals 0. And equation two, which is x plus 2y minus z minus 3 equals 0. Now we need to find equation of plane which passes through this point and which is perpendicular to both the planes. So we can write this equation directly. So it will be x plus 1, y minus 3, z minus 2. And then since it is perpendicular to both the planes, it will be parallel to their normal. So we have two parallel vectors. This is 2, minus 1, 1. And this is 1, 2 and minus 1 and it must be equal to 0. Now this is 1 minus 2 minus, so it will be minus x minus 1. Here it is minus 2 minus 1 plus 3, so it will be plus 3y minus 9 and then it will be plus 5z minus 10 equals 0. So equation of this plane will be x minus 3y minus 5z plus 20 equals 0 and that's your option C. Now for these two planes, we have made signs of D1, D2 same. Now if we calculate A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2, it will be 2 minus 2 minus 1 and it is less than 0. And if A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is less than 0, that means origin lies in acute angle bisector. And we know that bisector containing origin will be given by this plus sign. So equation of acute angle bisector will be 2x minus y plus z minus 2 upon under root 6. And then this plus sign for bisector containing origin, which is acute angle bisector in this case. And it will be equal to x plus 2y minus z minus 3 upon under root 6. Now it will cancel. So we will get this as x minus 3y plus 2z plus 1 equals 0. And that's your option A. Now this next one is equation of bisector of angle of the planes which is not containing origin. Now the one which doesn't contain origin will be with a minus sign. So what we will do is here we will take minus rather than plus. So now we will have 2x minus y plus z minus 2 and it will be minus x minus 2y plus z plus 3. So it will be 3x plus y minus 5 equals 0 which is your option D. Now the next one is position of points with respect to a plane. Now, if we are given a plane whose equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0 and we are given two points say a which is x1 y1 z1 and b which is x2 y2 and z2 so what we will do is we will find ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d and we will find ax2 plus by2 plus cz2 plus d if they are the same sign if both of them they are positive or both of them they are negative then they lie on same side of the plane that means they lie on same side of the plane and if one of them is positive and the other one is negative or minus and plus then in that case they lie on opposite side so in that case these two points they lie on opposite side of the plane so this is 
position of points with respect to a plane. Now here the question is the position vectors of four angular points of a tetrahedron OABC are given. A point P inside the tetrahedron is at same distance R from the four plane faces of the tetrahedron. Find the value of R. Now we have this plane. which is at the same distance r and these angular points are 6, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0 and this is 0, 0, 2 and we have origin. Now it says a point P, it lies inside of this tetrahedron. Now when this point P, it is at same distance r from all the three faces then coordinate of this point p will be r comma r comma r we can write equation of this plane also equation of this plane will be x upon 6 plus y upon 4 plus z upon 2 equals 1 now we multiply it with 12 we can write 2x plus 3y plus 6z minus 12 equals 0 now distance of this point from this plane it is also r so we can write 2r plus 3r plus 6r minus 12 upon and this is under root of 4 plus 9 plus 36 so there will be under root 49 which is 7 and it is equal to r so now we can write 11r minus 12 it is equal to 7r now we will take two cases case 1 when 11r minus 12 is equal to 7r and the second case when 11r minus 12 and is equal to minus 7r. Now from here we can write 4r equals 12 that is value of r is 3 and here we can write 18r equals 12 so value of r is 2 by 3. Now if we take r as 3 then this point which is 3 comma 3 comma 3 if we put 3 comma 3 comma 3 it will be 6 plus 9 plus 18 minus 12 it will be positive and if we put origin it will be negative then this point and origin they lie on the opposite side of the plane so this point it won't lie within this tetrahedron so the only possible value of r in this case is 2 by 3 and that is the answer to this question